Pink and Usher have wiped their entire Twitter slash X accounts, deleting every tweet. Twitter is both a social media company and a crime scene. Why would Elon Musk say that? Huh, why would they do that? Some people say it's because of this dude right here, Mr. P. Diddy the Diddler himself. You remember that time at the award show when like grabbing Bieber and like grabbing all over him and stuff and he looked super uncomfortable, dude. Like it's just some kind of game or joke or something. Then you see memes like this right here before and after. I mean, that's really not funny, man. Everybody laughing about it. I don't, it, it's not funny. You got Usher claimed he was hacked after all of his ex posts suddenly disappeared. You were hacked, were you, Usher? <laughs> Bet you were. Jaguar Wright claimed and revealed that Sean Diddy Collins had been trying to gain control over Bieber when he was young. Diddy was struggling to get a hold of the young singer until Usher stepped in. According to Wright, Usher helped the now disgraced mogul as he took over the management and he handed Bieber to Diddy for 48 hours. That's this video right here. He's like, you know, he says, yeah, well, I had custody of Usher or whatever and uh, Usher's got custody of him pretty much, but he gave it to me for 48 hours, blah, 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 and like showed him a brand new car. This is yours, man. I mean, it's so obvious watching it. It's so obvious. Anyways, man, prayers for you, Mr. JB. I got your back, man. I know we don't know each other, but you hit me up anytime, buddy. All right? You know, like a lot of people, I grew up wanting to be famous. You know, everybody wants to be famous. They want to either be an astronaut, president of the United States. I wanted the rock star. But, dude, seeing all this stuff come out, how all these kids are screwed up once they're, like, adults, like Corey Feldman and, like, Justin Bieber, you know, went through a thing where he just went crazy. Shia LaBeouf has had a lot of issues mentally and stuff. It kind of makes me happy that I didn't go down that route. I mean, I mean, even now, I'm kind of hesitant when I start getting some traction, like on YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, I have to kind of take a step back and be like, dude, do I really want this? Do I want to get to a level to where I may potentially be like at the same parties as some of these and weirdos? I don't know, man. It's like, obviously, there's an opportunity cost to every decision you make. You know, we don't have to put ourselves in situations. But, you know, I mean, at this point, do we even know who we can trust, <laughs> like, within Hollywood and stuff like that? Do we even know, like, who would be safe to talk to? Because I don't. It seems like every day there's someone else coming out that's like, oh, I had no idea. Like, I never would have guessed it. So how come the dragons don't fly over the ice wall into Middle Earth where we live? So I asked the guy who said he's flown to New Tarred multiple times this exact question, and what he told me is, the dragons don't like to live over on Earth anymore because we used to kill a bunch of them, and they especially don't want to come back now because of the 4G and 5G radiation, which apparently is the same reason why all the other people around on these other continents don't want to come to Earth because there's so much radiation not only from the phone service, but also from electrical outlets, I guess. And what else he told me is that the dragons, they live on these other continents because there's so much space and not many people actually live there. And it is interesting how in every single culture, dragons seem to be a part of it and they seem to be in their mythology. Maybe they were just mistaken after seeing dinosaur bones or maybe they actually did see dragons flying in their skies a thousand years ago. But what do you guys think? Is this guy's story fact or is it fiction? What do I think? Uh, I think 90% of flat earth stuff is just completely unhinged. It's so... <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. I understand the firmament and, like, the dome. Like, I could see. I don't believe it, but I could see how people would be like, okay, that's chill. Whatever. But, like, it seems like to be a flat earth, you also have to believe that every, like, city, every place in mythology, like, Olympus and, what did this guy say, like, Middle Earth, like, are real places. It's, like, come on, man. It's like, I can suspend my disbelief in order to try to see things from, at least as much as possible, an unbiased perspective. But, dude, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not, I'm not just going to automatically believe that everything that's written about is real just because one of them might be. You know, it's just, I don't know, it's crazy to me. That comes from Westlanders, guys. Oh, you fucking silly bitch. I'm gonna do it next. Again, guys.
Where the fuck are you riding? Ah! Nope. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Why would you even live in that place? Why would why would you even continue to live there? Like, dude, I get freaked out when I see like my shadow <laughs> in the middle of the night when I'm like walking to the bathroom and everything's like dark and I see my shadow. I get freaked out by that shit. How are you even gonna live in a house that is that, if it's real, unreasonably haunted to <laughs> where you have a ghost <laughs> pimp slapping you? <laughs> in the face uh, when you're just trying to keep the door shut. I don't know, but uh, nope, absolutely not. It's a hard nope for me. I'm going to pass on that place. Have fun living in that in, in that place if you want, but uh, nope. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. You are so much better of an astronaut. Page than, than those other fakes. <laughs> Thank you. And if you're hungry in space, gonna have your floating Fritos to, to, to munch on. So um, I don't want to give GMOs any publicity, but it's all we have hanging around. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> So it's all true. Obviously, that was a like a tongue-in-cheek thing. They're talking about, you know, how easy it is to fake being in space. But honestly, dude, like, I grew up obsessed with outer space. Like, I loved space. I wanted to be an astronaut. That was my shit when I was a kid. I wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to be either an astronaut or an archaeologist. Uh, clearly, those didn't work out because now I'm a YouTuber. But <laughs> um, the more I see about this stuff, the more I think that they're faking it in the space stations like they had this one video uh, that they actually released where the chick's hair was clearly like hairsprayed like standing straight up it was unreal they just think we're just incredibly gullible and stupid and do i think that we've been to space yes do i think the moon landing was real not the footage but i do think that we went there and found something that we maybe couldn't talk about or share the fact that they have an entire space station replica built like in a giant pool where they like train at. I mean, dude, I don't know. It just makes me think that all this, all this stuff is just so fake now. The crazy thing about UFO videos is we know that the government or the military or whoever, billionaires now at this point, who knows, <laughs> are working on crafts, right? Like big ones. Like we know that they've had like a secret like triangle shaped craft that they've been working on that is basically the schematics look like the giant triangular sh uh, ship with the three lights on it that people have, have seen like through the years. We know that's a government ship right now. So... It's crazy. Yes, I believe in aliens. Yes, I believe in, in spaceships and spacecrafts. And yes, I believe that the the military got designs by reverse engineering or even just having information shared from aliens. But I don't know, I'm at a point now to where like I want to so bad. <laughs> like like fingers crossed. I so bad want to see a UFO like in the sky, like with my own eyes, but I feel like I'd be a little jaded now and I'd immediately question it, be like, Oh, that's that's probably not a UFO. It's probably like a military ship, and it would just completely just just kill the the whole excitement uh, of the situation for me. Unless they abducted me, which I am down for that too. So long as you bring me back, just leave my butt alone. Look at this and tell me if you recognize anything there. Yes, I do. It looks it resembles a panel that I saw at the structure in Antarctica. That was a panel that had the star map on it. And the star map. Do you know? The, from what they could uh, estimate, it was not only our universe, but three universes combined in one large star map. The focal point was what our Hubble Space Telescope has photographed and recorded at that time. And then they correlated what the Hubble Space Telescope had taken photographs of 
that was not in our universe, but actually a different universe outside, further out than what we think our universe is. I know that what you just said to me was that we were using the Hubble to photograph in another universe outside of this universe. Yes, ma'am. And then another universe. Yes, ma'am. The way it was described to me, they were taking mathematical equations, formulas, from different points of our universe and pinpointing it to photographs or recordings that was made by our Hubble Space Telescope, which at that time was the best technological device that we had at that time. Was this generated by extraterrestrial beings? Yes, ma'am. Parallel universes freaks me the F out, man. I mean, just think, like, one of me is enough. Just imagine, like, a ton of me doing everything possible, good and bad, on every level with every single outcome happening simultaneously. That's a terrifying thought. It kind of makes you think, like, every time you do something bad or screw up, it's like, damn it. Like, why wasn't I one of the smart ones that got this right? But at the same time, it's like, you feel super easily replaceable, right? It makes you feel so much smaller than you are because, like, there's an endless amount of you, right? So, like, what makes you so special? Why are you the main character? And it really kind of put things into perspective. Like, if there is an infinite amount infinite versions of every single one of us like are we special are we the main character is what we do here important do the things we do matter i don't know you have to let me know i'm, uh, I'm getting a little too deep here I'm not going to touch that one. I don't think I could say any of those names on YouTube without my video getting flagged. But uh, it would not surprise me. You have to decide for yourself on that one. But it would not surprise me if any of that was true. Sorry, FBI guy. I'm just reacting to videos here. But you know what they're saying, man? If it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, probably a water chicken. <laughs>